Hi everybody, Chris from the Nobody Greater Podcast here. Um, I just want to give my quick take on the Jamarcus Russell situation. Uh, as we all know by now, unless you live on the rock, uh, Jamarcus Russell has done an interview with the Pivot Podcast where he discussed a uh, numerous amount of things. Um, to be honest with you, I'm surprised they even found this guy. I mean, he, as far as I'm concerned, he's been hiding ever since he got ran off from Oakland. Um, just my quick thoughts on the situation. I do want to show transparency. I don't want to just beat a guy while he's down. Uh, he even addressed on the show that he wants to be known as the biggest bust. So that's how we're going to treat him as the biggest bust, which he probably is uh, one of the biggest busts ever, um, especially considering his draft pick that he got picked at. Um, he came from LSU. Um we all know the, the pedigree that LSU possesses and the players have came out of LSU. So as you guys expected, when we were watching him in preparation for him to join the team, we was thinking, oh, he's going to be a great pick. He's going to do this. He's going to do that when he got to the NFL. He got to the NFL and laid a straight egg. Um, as you can hear in the interview, he's talking about how he wasn't set up in the best situation. He wasn't set up with the best team. Uh, there was a reason why the Raiders had a number one pick that year or top pick that year and uh, blah, 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 blah. He made, you know, those are somewhat valid points, but at the same time, uh, every year when they have the NFL draft, those people who get picked with those top selections for those teams, they already know what they're walking into. So for you to complain that, oh, I got picked, by a team that wasn't set up for my success. Uh, that is 90% of the top picks in the NFL draft when they do get picked. They don't get their choice of what team they want to go to. They get picked to whatever team sucked that last year. And uh, some of them succeed and have an immediate turnaround. Some of them fail. Let's, uh, let's use an example from LSU, not Jamarcus Russell, but another quarterback from LSU who, who was a high-selected draft pick to a team that hadn't done much since Andy Dalton, right? Even with Andy Dalton, didn't do much. Even with Marvin Lewis, didn't do much. Even with great players on their team, didn't do much. Joe Burrow got selected by the Cincinnati Bengals. He got hurt. He came back and took them boys to the Super Bowl. The very next year. So, as far as I'm concerned, I can't validate his complaints. Yeah, the Raiders weren't the best team that year, but what did he do on his end to make, you know, to make his situation better, to make the team better, to make uh, the environment better for the players? Not much. Any story, you, you never hear about any positive stories coming out about Jamarcus Russell. Not in high school, not in college, not in the NFL. Like I said, I'm not trying to beat down on this guy, but he is the perfect uh, example of somebody who had a great opportunity and didn't, you know, didn't capitalize off of it. Um, he ain't the first. We we had players like Terrell Pryor. Do y'all remember him? Terrell Pryor. We thought he was going to be some hot shit, and he didn't turn out to be very much and was out of the league before you knew it. Uh, players like Geno Smith. Even though Geno Smith is in the league, so I ain't going to ragdoll Geno Smith too hard. But we all, who all football fans know, we see those players that come into the NFL, possess great potential, possessed great potential in high, in high school, in college, get to the NFL, and for whatever reason, whether it's the situation or whether it's them, don't capitalize off of it. So that's just my, my quick thoughts on the situation with Jamarcus Russell. Um, I think we should just let it go. We're in a new era of Raiders football with Derek Carr leading the way. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I want to just put those years that we had to, <laughs> Jamarcus Russell behind us. Let, let's put it behind us and forget. Like he said, he wants to be known as the biggest bus. Let's let it go down in history as that, as Jamarcus Russell being the biggest bus. Even though I don't think he's the biggest bust ever. Let's... Uh, let him live in his glory with that. 
But that's just my take on the situation, man. Y'all like, subscribe, and comment what y'all think.